Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about this particular um, sheet metal practice model. So as you can see here, there are no much uh, you know features available in this uh, sheet metal. There are some cutouts and then uh, there are some hems and there is one dimple over here. So we are going to create this uh, by using a sheet metal workbench. Uh, this is a kind of a beginner um, you know uh, practice model. So let's get started with this model. So we can start this by going to a new file. So I'm going to go to new file and uh, here and in a new file window, uh, it is not necessary. You won't need to always select a sheet metal. So you can select a model and you can go to part modeling and then you can switch the application. So now I'll just show you how we can work in this. So you can see here I'm going into a model workbench. So once you go into a model workbench, uh, you can see all the part modeling workbench uh, you know, commands will be available here. So extrude, revolve and everything. So now uh, in order to switch to a sheet metal, you can uh, either hit control shift M. Yeah, so this will take you to a sheet metal workbench or else you can go to application and sheet metal. Okay, so this will take you to again a sheet metal workbench. So now we are in a sheet metal workbench. You can see here all the commands are available. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to sketch and moment on this particular plane. And here I'm going to create a simple rectangle with a dimensions of 150 and 100. Okay, so this is my rectangle. Hit D for rapid dimensioning. And this is 150. Okay, so and this is Okay, so this is 100 mm. Okay, so this is a simple rectangle. So this is what we need in uh, first sketch. I'm going to finish the sketch. Okay, so once we do the sketch, uh, the first step in uh, you know sheet metal is need to give the tab. So only when uh, we have a tab, all other features can be useful. So first we'll just uh, give the tab here, 3 mm of thickness, and you can just click. Okay. So now the simple tab is um, you know ready. So now what we can do is we can just give the flanges. So first flange will be on this edge. So it is of 90 degree angle and with 50 mm of length. So you can just keep everything as it is and you can just click OK. So now again one more flange uh, for this particular edge. OK, so this is now uh, 75 mm of length. OK, you can just click OK. So you can see here um, the flanges are ready. So now what we have to do is uh, we have a hem here. So around this corner. So what we can do is we can just go to hem flange and we can just select this edge and uh, the bend radius is 5 mm and blench flange is 10 mm and you can keep it as open flange, open hem. So there are multiple hem uh, you know features available here. So these are all explained in my hem command video. So if you are not checked that video, please go to that particular video and check it out. So now the dimensions are correct. It is 5 mm and 10 mm. You can just click OK. So now you can see here uh, our uh, you know simple um, model with a flange is ready. And we have some cutouts here and dimple and then uh, there are some more you know, cutouts over here so that we are going to take it now. So before going to do that, uh, you can see there is one cutout which can need to be done and you can see here this cutout. So the, in order to do uh, you know cut out any kind of cutouts on a particular bend section, so you need to unbend the particular sheet metal body and then uh, make a cutout and then bend it again. So we'll show you how, how we can do that. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to unbend. So there is an unbend command. You can see stationary face. So this is my stationary face and uh, which is the bend you wanted to unbend. So this is the bend I wanted to unbend. And now you can just click OK. This look like a tab now. So now what we can do is we can just make a sketch and uh, make a cutout on that particular model. So for that what we can do is we can just go to sketch on this particular plane and you can just click OK. So here uh, try to give a rectangle here. So this is my rectangle and let me give the dimension from this center to this edge. It is 50 mm. OK. And then this overall length is 50 mm. OK, so and then from this edge to this bend is 25 mm. OK, so now you can see a sketch is fully constrained with one auto dimension. So let us see what is the auto dimension. You can see the width of this particular rectangle is not provided. So it is 20 mm. So let us give 20 mm. 
okay so all the dimensions are given so now we will finish the sketch so once you do this uh, you can just uh, you know uh, make a normal cutout here so go to normal cutout and uh, you can see uh, the cutout has been generated and now you can just click ok so we have done unbend and then we have made a cutout so now we need to rebend it so go to rebend and it is asking for a bend and this is my bend which needs to be rebent and you can just click ok so now this sketch is not required just hide it okay so this is the way how we can do it so now what we can do is we can just provide a you know break corner here so we can just go to break corner and select these edges sorry so this is my first edge 10 mm is the value so we can just give 10 mm and here as well it is this patch same way we have to select this and this okay and you can just click ok now and now uh, you can see in the model so there are two more cutouts so this cutout has to be removed and there are some holes so these holes are in the same direction as you can see here it, it is along the direction so what I'll do is I will create this uh, cutout sketch and these two holes in the same sketch itself so we'll go to model and uh, go to sketch and now we can go into this sketch okay so now go to rectangle and start creating a simple rectangle here and then two holes on this flange okay so we can create all of them and then we can start giving the dimensions so before going to give the dimensions I am going to make equal radius between these two so these two should have a equal radius and now uh, this width is 85 mm okay and then uh, this center point should have a length of uh, distance between these two is 50 mm so it means it's exactly at the center okay and then okay so this width 40 mm okay so now you can see here sketches with the five auto dimensions so let us give some dimensions to here as well so these two should lie in the same horizontal line so go to horizontal alignment and give these two points okay and the distance between these two circles will be 50 mm so let us give 50 mm here and from one edge it should be 25 mm okay hit D for dimensioning and from this point to this point it is 25 mm okay so now the distance between from here to here it is 185 sorry 190 okay so now uh, as you can see here there is one uh, dimension is missing so that is maybe the radius of this particular uh, circles so it is 15 mm so let us see uh, as you can see here so let us give 15 mm for this okay so the now sketch is fully constrained so I am going to finish the sketch now we need to remove the material so go to normal cutout and select this particular sketch okay so now it should be on both the sides symmetric depth okay and now let me remove it okay so now as you can see here both side it has been removed now we'll just switch off this sketch it is not required and this sketch is also not required so now I can see here uh, our model is ready so one more thing is we have this hem and then this dimple need to be provided so go to model and uh, now go to for lem hem okay so now you can select this edge okay so you can see here 5 mm uh, wind radius and flange length is 10 so same way we can just provide this on this edge as well okay 
so now we are left with uh, you know dimple here and then um, some break corners so let us give the break corners here so this is 10 mm okay and now we have a dimple so let me go to dimple you can see here this is a dimple and I'm going to select this sketch uh, so here I'm going to make a circle circle with the diameter of 25 okay and then uh, the distance between this to this edge is 30 mm okay and it should be at the center so press C and then the make point horizontal alignment so between this point to this center okay so now you can see sketch is fully constrained I'll just finish the sketch so here I'm going to give the dimple and uh, it's uh, you can see the dimple depth is 8 mm and 3 mm is a uh, no side angle and it should be material outside and it should be reversed in direction so what I'll do is I'll just make a reverse direction here and everything you can just keep it as it is and you can just click okay this is how we can make this uh, model guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below and I'll try to answer thank you guys